Are you feeling overwhelmed by constant cleaning and trying to keep up with everything only to end the day with even more tasks left to do? This can be so discouraging, making you feel like your efforts are not making a difference. So the solution is to establish a nightly reset routine. And believe me, having daily habits made a big difference for me and my worries about all the things I needed to do, like work, taking care of the kids, and keeping my house tidy. There's a simple thing you can do every day that can make a big difference in your whole day. It's called the nightly reset and it works. Imagine waking up in the morning to a kitchen that's clean and tidy. No piles of dishes or crumbs on the floor. It's life-changing and that's how I start my day and it all starts with a nightly reset. So you're first going to want to start by making a nightly routine list of things that you want to do every evening. So I grabbed a journaling card to write mine out and I would keep it in your planner just so you can have easy access to it just in case you need to reference it later. First, you want to start with the kitchen. So when it comes to the kitchen, again, the routine that you develop should be very simple. It shouldn't take that much time. So you want to clean the countertops. You want to clean the sink. You want to wash all of the dishes and put them away from the dishwasher. Wipe down all of the surfaces, including the refrigerator and also all of your appliances if needed. And also make sure to sweep and mop the floor if need be. For us, of course, like most of you, the kitchen is the hub of our home. This is where we spend the most of our time, so it tends to gather the most clutter. And it tends to be the place also that we are in the most. When we get up in the morning, we get up to eat breakfast, and then before bed, it seems to be a gathering place for snacks and just chit-chatting and all of those things. So it's no wonder why it gathers the most clutter. So it's gonna need the most work. So now we are moving on to the living room. Again, it shouldn't take much time because you're not doing a deep cleaning of this room. All you're doing is picking up toys or clutter. You're gonna fluff your cushions on the sofa, any throw blankets you have, and then you may also vacuum your floor. And this is just something you'll wanna do if it's needed. It's not something that we do every single day. It's something that we do on a needed basis. So all you're doing is just tidying up the space. Remember, we're just resetting it so that way in the morning we can have a fresh start and the deep cleaning is going to be done at some point of course but this isn't the time for that
Next, you want to tackle the bedroom, and this should involve just putting away any clothes that are out that need to be put away or any belongings that are out of place and tidy up those surfaces, wipe them down if needed. Of course, sweep and vacuum if you feel the need for it. But again, this is just the time for you to tidy up your space. So now we are moving on to the dreaded bathroom. This is my least favorite part of any cleaning routine. I just, I dread the bathrooms and we have four of them in our house. So there's a lot that needs to be done. Ugh, I'm, I just dread them y'all. I, I don't know why, I just, it's my least favorite part. And I think that you probably all feel the same way. So when it comes to your routine, you wanna wipe down any surfaces and sweep and mop the floor. I also like to tackle the mirrors too, especially if they're really bad. Um, other than that, I may do a little bit of a restock, uh, maybe restocking the toilet tissue, the towels, and any sort of um, toiletries that are needed for the kids um, in their bathroom. And then when it comes to our bathroom, I pretty much do the same thing. I wipe down all of the counters and I wipe the mirrors. And depending on how bad the shower is, I may do a little bit of shower work. Again, this isn't a deep cleaning day. When I do my deep cleaning, I'm getting in there and I'm really getting the bathroom clean so this is just kind of holding me over um, i feel like as you do a little bit day by day it makes the whole thing easier so that when it comes time to do your deep cleaning of the bathroom it's going to make the process a little bit easier still not fun but a little bit easier and that helps so i'm just doing just a little bit today in terms of my nightly routine and i'm doing this for all four bathrooms that we have So we are rounding out this process. So another thing that you want to make sure that you're doing kind of during the process, or you can save this for last after you've tackled all of the main things, which I feel like the bathroom, the bedroom, the kitchen, and the living room are all main spaces. And then you can come back around and you wanna make sure you pick up any stray items that are laying around the house and return them to where they belong. And so I am going to just head around the house. I'm going to look around just to see if there's anything that I need to pick up uh, from any other space that I need to return back to where it belongs. Another thing that I try to do that really helps us is to prep anything that we need to get out of the house the next morning. And then you wanna do your final touches. So take a few minutes to walk around your house and make sure everything is order. And then you wanna turn off all of the lights. This is a pet peeve of mine during the evening. Of course, I'm filming this during the day because this is just an example of what I do during my nightly routine. So turn off all of those lights and then you lastly wanna make sure that you lock all of the doors. And make sure to end your day on a high note. Don't feel bad if you're not able to accomplish all the things. Again, this routine should not take long at all. So you should be able to tackle each and every part of this routine or whatever routine you develop for yourself. So take a moment to reflect on your accomplishments for the day and set intentions for the next day. Get a good night's sleep and wake up refreshed for the next day. Thanks to your night routine. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. Again, this one habit has completely changed my day and I want it to change your day as well. So I appreciate you watching today. Hopefully you'll give me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. And of course, come back and join me for another video, in which case I'll see you then.